Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Hello once again, my name is John Nathan Owora. Welcome to this segment of Embrace. Today we continue with roles or responsibilities of parents in a home. This time we're not separating them, whether mother or father, we're talking the responsibilities of parents in a home. We will break this in maybe two portions. Number one, it's the role of a parent to protect children from all forms of abuse and danger. Any, ad, any abuse, any form of abuse, sexual, spiritual, physical, that may come against your child, it's your role as a parent to protect them. Say no. If it means taking to the police, go ahead. Don't keep quiet when your children are abused. Take it up as yourself, because if you do that, what you're trying to do is you're teaching the children, you're training the children, that it's okay to keep quiet about some forms of abuse. You need to protect your children. Number two, it's your role as a parent to pay school fees and give all scholastic materials. When you send children to school, you don't just send them and dump them there. You give them all necessities, everything within your power to keep them in school. If they need food, you, send, you give them something for food. You pay food for, at school. If, you need, if they need scholastic materials, whatever they need, and I mean within the finances that God has given you, you may not afford everything, but it's your role to ensure that they're at school and they're comfortable, including uniform. Number three, it's our role as parents to take children to school. Sending them to school, buying them, paying, them, paying for them school fees is one thing, but taking them to school is responsibility. You take them to school, ensure they are in school, and you check on their performances. That's very important. So do this as a parent. Four. It's, the, it's our role as parents to provide medical care. When a child is sick, don't send them with their mother only. If you're a father and you're available, go with them to the hospital. There is a certain comfort and security it gives to children. Drop everything else that you're doing and take them to the hospital. Medical care is our responsibility. Providing good medical care, again, within the finances that you have. When your child dies because of negligence and carelessness, that child will never come back to life. It's you who loses that. So drop everything else and take good care of your children. It's also our responsibility as parents to provide clothes and all other needs in the home. If you have a girl and she needs sanitary towels, it's your role. Fathers, don't shy away from this. It's your role to buy sanitary towels, walk the shop, Ask her, don't shy away. I buy sanitary towels for my wife. She sends me and I go buy, and there's nothing wrong with it. It shows, it gives her security that my husband actually cares. Now, if you do this for your daughter, they will trust you even more. So you start slowly and start when they are young. It's your responsibility to provide clothes and every other need. It's your responsibility to provide shelter, parents, Putting a roof over your, over your children, over your family, is your responsibility. You're the one supposed to put a roof, and a good roof, within the finances God has given you. So it's our responsibility. So let's ensure that we are able to put a shelter over, over our family. Whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, it's a responsibility of a father, yes. But where the father is not there, the mother should be able to help in this particular area. It's a responsibility of a parent taking children to church. As you take them to school, take them to church. Don't show, don't, don't point them to church. No, 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 no. Show them. Hold their hands and walk with them to church. Dear parents, church is very key because it trains the heart. I, in one of the episodes, we said the word of God is one that trains the heart. It's not good speech that trains the heart. It's the word of God that trains the heart. So take your, take your son, take your daughter, and go with them to church. Sit next to them. If they're going to Sunday school, ensure they have chairs in Sunday school. Ensure their teachers are teaching them the right stuff. How many of us parents actually go to Sunday school to check what our children are learning? 
It's our responsibility as parents to pray for our children. Pray for them. Pray for your children. Every morning, every evening, pray for them. Talk to God about your children. Not the work of the pastor. Pastor also has their own children. Not the work of the reverend or the, class or the priest. They also have their own children. You need to, it's your responsibility to pray for your children. We'll stop here for today. I hope you chew on what you've just discussed. 